Hey everybody, welcome to another bonus episode of The New Market Show. Catching us on Instagram, TV, YouTube, all that good stuff. Definitely appreciate you. So today I wanna to talk about the different phases that we go through when we're going to towards a launch. Whether it's a launch of maybe a new website, maybe it's a launch to promote an event, maybe it's a launch to promote new product or pro project. So <clears throat> there are three different phases that we go through. One is raising awareness. One, we, you know, you have to let everybody know what you're doing, why you're doing it, why it's important, how it impacts them. If you put things on, you know, it's, it's the what's in it for me type of concept. So if you are able to make people connect with it, it's going to resonate a little bit differently. The second thing is start to create the buzz, start to build the excitement towards it. You know, that's why you see a lot of, you know, that's why coming soon pages are so you know, popular or, you know, just splash pages or just, you know, teaser information where you start to generate buzz and you start to generate a lot of excitement <clears throat> about what's coming up. And definitely when it's, you know, you want between phase one and phase two, you could kind of, you could tie in some of those gaps and tie in some of the details and let people know, okay, this is what's coming soon. Oh my God, this is how it's going to affect you and impact you. This is so great. This is why you need to be a part of it. Then the final phase is the conversion and to get people through the door, you know, to have them sign up, have them uh, maybe buy tickets to your event, maybe go ahead and, you know, uh, generate traffic to your site, you know, anything like that. So it, when you do the first two things successfully, especially when you build buzz, what's going to happen is you're going to tie into the fear of missing out a little bit when you go ahead and you launch the actual product and you tell everybody you have a product. The key thing is, and the third thing is, don't disappoint anybody and make sure that you deliver on what you've promised in the first two steps. So let's say you're having an event. The first thing is to tell people why the event is so important and how it impacts you. The second phase of the marketing would be to create the buzz saying, this is gonna be amazing, this is who's gonna be here, this is the guest speakers, or maybe this is the selected entertainment. <clears throat> and then the third one is make sure that they know how to go ahead and get all the information, maybe get tickets, maybe buy tables, maybe go ahead and, and create all of that excitement to say, this is how now you can cash in on phase one and two. So, hey, I, I hope this helps. And for more episodes of The New Market Show, make sure you check out trinitywebmedia.com slash apple-podcast, or you can get us on, on YouTube, Stitcher, iHeartRadio, Podbean, Spotify, all those good places. So talk to you soon.